Everybody loves a foot massage, but reflexology is much more than just that. This age-old therapy has been around since 2500 BC and can be traced back to ancient Egyptian and Chinese cultures. Reflexology is the application of pressure techniques to the feet in order to affect another part of the body. These techniques stimulate pressure sensors, triggering the relaxation response throughout the body. Doctor, what does reflexology entail? Reflexology is the application of pressure techniques um, on the hands and feet in order to affect another part of the body. Now, the feet and the hands are divided into a system of zones and reflex areas which mirror the anatomical arrangement of the systems and organs in the body. By applying pressure techniques to the hands and feet, the pressure sensors in the feet get stimulated to communicate instantly with the brain and the internal organs. What makes our feet such an effective body part to apply therapy to? Before the human race decided to wear shoes, our feet were exposed to the myriad of surfaces that the earth has to offer. So we also experience the, the, the health benefits from that. It is no surprise therefore that studies have shown the simple act of walking cobblestones can lower your blood pressure and in the same way reflexology um, has this positive effect as well. What are the benefits of reflexology? One of the most important benefits is stress release. It is estimated that more than 75% of all disease is caused by stress. We are living in this continuous fight or flight cycle. Reflexology is powerful in the way that it is able to regulate the nervous system. And because the nervous system is linked with every other body system, reflexologists are able to tap into a disharmony in the nervous system and thereby correct this imbalance. Another important benefit is pain reduction. I've seen patients ranging from chronic low back pain to headaches. Reflexology is also very good for balancing the emotions. Um, I've had many instances where underlying emotional trauma have surfaced during a reflexology treatment where there would be an emotional breakdown, for instance. This can happen during the treatment or after the treatment as well. Reflexology is also amazing for encouraging blood circulation and lymphatic waste removal. So for those patients that want to have a strong detoxifying effect, reflexology is absolutely perfect. Is the treatment painful in any way or can it present any kind of danger to the patient? It shouldn't be painful. <laughs> so I have a lot of clients that come to me that complain that they have gone for painful treatments. But it's important that the reflexologist actually adjusts their pressure level to suit the client. It can be uncomfortable from time to time on certain reflexes, but it's more of a releasing kind of pain or pressure rather than being uncomfortable. Would certain reflexes in the feet be more painful if there's a problem in that area of the body? Absolutely. So we would say the reflex is blocked. And usually you can pick it up with your fingers because it's interesting, the surface of the soles of the feet is like the planet if you look at it from above. So the feet has its own topography. You will have valleys and you will have mountains. And as a reflexologist, your own nerve endings get so finely tuned to the surfaces of the feet that you can actually feel and sense exactly which areas are blocked. Is the effect of a treatment long term or must you come for a few sessions? For some it's wonderful to just have a once-off reflexology or if they've just finished with a deadline at work or if there's been a stressful family situation. But for long-term effects, regular treatment is preferable. I've seen the best results this way. I struggle from severe debilitating back pain, which impacts every aspect of my life and significantly so my functionality as well. I had surgery about a year ago, which back surgery, and the outcome wasn't what we hoped or planned for. I've tried everything. It feels like I've tried everything. All the doctors, all the therapists, and nothing has really helped me to improve and to manage my pain. Reflexology, on the other hand, has, it helps me to manage my pain on a day-to-day -day basis. It gives me a better quality of life, and that's a wonderful gift for me. It's, it's wonderful be, to be able to get on with life again, do day-to-day -day things. I would recommend reflexology to just about anybody out there. I came to reflexology for chronic pain, but it's impacted my life in many other ways. Stress management, 
I'm more aware of my body. So often we think just with our mind and we neglect the rest of ourselves. So it's brought me in a better relationship with my body. So it's, it, it really works. If practiced regularly, reflexology can interrupt the stress response. It encourages good health, promoting relaxation, easing pain, detoxifying, while facilitating a general sense of well-being. So if this age-old therapy appeals to you, go ahead and give it a try. I know I'm going to.